The purpose of this video tutorial is to show you a few tips and tricks when creating a newsletter in Microsoft Publisher. So if you are in Publisher and you would like to start creating a newsletter, from the list of available options for Publisher documents, select Newsletters. You'll notice at the top that there may be some Office.com templates here that you could download. What, however, you do not have the ability to download. So you may have to instead use some of the installed templates that are already available to you. Now, as you look through here, you'll notice that maybe you don't really like a lot of the selection. Um, there's a lot of kind of very plain looking newsletters here from you know the looks of it. But if you find one that has um, maybe the right orientation or uh, the text box is kind of in the, the place where you'd like them to be, you can select one of these templates and then make a lot of modifications to spice it up a bit and make it look the way you want it to. So I'll select one of these templates and immediately before I can start creating the newsletter I have to customize a few things from right within here. I can also customize them later if I want to but if I wanted to right off the bat pick a color scheme from in here for my newsletter. I can pick a font if I wanted to and then I can press create to start. And by default my newsletter is very small so it's difficult to see. So I'll go to the lower right corner and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see this better. The first thing I'd like to do is get rid of a lot of the content on this template that I don't like. So I'm going to select this clip art and delete it. I'm also going to select some of the bars at the top that I don't like and delete these as well. Now I'm going to show you some of the tools that you can use in here. Up at the top, if you go to the Insert tab, you can insert a shape if you'd like. There are a lot of different shapes to pick from. This may be nice to use when you're creating the bar at the top of your newsletter. So for example, I will select one for you. Let's see, which one would I like to use? I'll try this one. And I will insert it right here at the top. Now you'll notice it's just an empty shape, but I'm going to give it some color. So now that I've inserted a shape, I'm now in this Drawing Tools Format tab, and I can format the shape that I just inserted here. So I'm going to change the fill color. I think I'll pick kind of an orangey, brownish color. And also from within this Shape Fill option, I can make it a gradient fill if I'd like to. So I'll make it look like this. Make it a little bit bigger. I also can make it 3D, which is kind of cool, by going to this 3D effects button from within the Format tab. And I'll select this. Maybe I don't want the 3D effect to be quite as deep, so I'll change the depth a little bit. And now I'm going to put my title up here. Kind of adjust the location of it. So that's one thing that you can do. Inserting shapes gives you a little bit more flexibility um, and you know a little bit more ability to customize this to look how you'd like. You can also, from within the Insert tab, you can go to Clip Art. And you can search for some clip art that you may want to use. I'll select this clip art image here. And now I can just use the corner bubbles to resize it. You'll notice as you move objects around within Publisher that the text will adjust itself to wrap around whatever object you inserted, which is kind of nice. So I will put my little pumpkins here in the corner. Okay. 
also from within the insert tab moving to the right you can go to this page parts option and these are kind of neat there's some little preset page uh, part options that you can insert to make uh, the look and feel of your newsletter a little bit more to your liking so I will select this one here I'm going to resize it a little bit it's just a bit too big I think I'd like it to be located right around here I'm going to delete some of this text and add that later but by default it gives you some photos in here if you click right click on any of those photos and go to change picture you can upload a photo of your choice into these open spaces. I'll do that again for this one. And I'll do that for the third picture as well. And now I'm going to add some text. I'll change the size of it first so it fits. So there's another way that you can change the look and feel of your newsletter. I'll go back up to the insert tab again and now I'll show you that there is this border and accent option here. There's a lot of different borders that you could pick from. I'll choose this border I'd like to put this around this page part that I just inserted here just to make it look a little nicer. You also at the top in the insert tab you can insert a calendar as well so if in your newsletter if you wanted to add a calendar on one of your pages with some important dates there's a lot of different calendars for you to pick from by default or you could go to more calendars and browse some of their other options from within here as well. So now if I wanted to from within this insert tab I could draw a text box if I wanted to place some text in a spot where there wasn't already a text box provided for me. If I no longer wanted that text box I could click on it and delete it. Once you have a text box in here what you can do is double click on that text box you can decide if you'd like a border to go around it or if you'd like it to have a gradient fill or some other look to it or if you wanted to from within here you can change it so that it did not have any fill color whatsoever and did not have an outline so it would blend right in with the background. You have some um, shadow effects and 3D effects by going to that format tab the same way that you did with the shapes option as well. Now if I go to the page design tab, the third tab at the top, here I have some more options. I can change the template if I decide that I don't like the template I chose or I can pick a different color scheme from these options. And what's nice is if you hover over them you can get kind of a preview of what your newsletter will look like if you select one of those color palettes. I think one of my favorite parts about this is the background option here. It's a nice way to fill in the color and that empty space in the background. You can select one of these that they gave you by default or you could go to more backgrounds and you could select your own colors from within here as well. So I will do that. and I can select the fill that I'd like it to be and apply it to the whole background. Finally, there's a few other things that are little tips and tricks. If you went to the review tab, you have the ability to spell check your newsletter, which is nice. 
Um, there's also a thesaurus and other tools in here for you. If you go to the Acrobat tab, you can convert your newsletter to a PDF. And this may be nice if you want to post your newsletter um, on your SchoolWire's website for parents to view there as well. So this tutorial has been intended to show you some tips and tricks when creating a newsletter in Microsoft Publisher.